Hey folks, Ricky aka The War Champion is back in the building again folks and today we are going to um, attempt another challenge um, similar to the last one. We did Pagras, um, the heroic challenge there and we did that without barracks. We were successful in, in beating that one without barracks. This time we're going to do, as you can already see, Twin Rivers, the heroic challenge here and see if we can win this without barracks. I believe the person that... Um, sort of indirectly, um, shall I say, asked or requested it. Um, I think it's a subscriber. If you are, thank you for the subscription. I'm glad that I proved worthy enough to gain your subscription. Um, indirectly asked if I could try this level um, heroic challenge, and I agreed to. So let's see what we have in store for you folks today. And to that to that viewer, if you are a subscriber, thank you. To you as a viewer, I hope you enjoy this. I hope this puts a smile on your face. Let's see if we can get the job done here. So this one was kind of a, I remember this one vaguely, but it's a pretty challenging one. We're going to start things off with setting up mage towers. <coughs> and we can get that archer tower there. We got 18 goblin, I mean 30 goblin, 18 wolf. So the go the wolves are going one way, the goblins are going the opposite. Yeah, they're, they're going, they're taking the twin path. They're, one's going one way, the other's going the other way. So folks, we the goblins are weak, but we can't underestimate. That's 30 goblins. And then the wolves are fast, so we have to... We gotta figure out a way to decimate them, folks. And the best way to see, look at that. Oh Lord, they're off to the races. We're gonna put a stop to that. And we're gonna yak from the skies above at the right time so they can walk right through that ring of fire, folks. That's how we do it. They're gonna feel that fire for the rest of their life. Okay, so here come the goblin, not 12 orc, 9 bandit are the next is the next wave. Now it's it's kind of a little doesn't seem like it's a smart idea to have archers on this side, but Never, I've learned to never underestimate the power of the archer. Really, sincerely, you cannot underestimate the power of the archer. Though the, the orcs are armored so that they get a reduction in damage from the archer towers, it's still the fast rate of fire, folks. That is what does it. That is what does it there. The mage towers, I have it on one side to deal with a, a particular type of enemy that's going to come eventually. Yeah, I'm setting up more archer towers. Those orcs are in danger. I don't have enough bounty to set up mages over there like that. Folks, those bandits are getting away. We can't have that. So we're going to have to be smart. We're going to set up reinforcement back here, and then we're going to yak at the right time, folks. We're not playing the games with those bandits, folks. They can dodge melee attacks if they want, but they can't dodge the rainfire. we got four bandits, ten brigand coming up next. So all I know is these orcs, this isn't a good spot we're in, folks. We lost the rain of fire. The orcs are on their way out of the building, but we have the archer tower back there. Perfect. Oh, you know you don't. You're not going. Oh, oh, folks. Get the rid of those orcs. Oh, good. Folks, this doesn't look good. We have a highly healthy bandit on his way okay good that, that's perfect perfect beautiful 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 he's within range of the archer tower and we have reinforcements to help us yeah those bandits they, they're powerful 20 to 32 shaman 18 or 15 goblin one ogre is about to come on the next wave yeah those bandits only have 84 um hit points but they do 20 to 30 damage and dodge melee attacks they are pretty pretty tricky and tough to deal with Especially with just reinforcements. So I started the wave early, but I did it for a good reason, folks. And this is why. So I can compel them from the skies, folks. That's right. That's right. And now we're gonna upgrade the, the uh, archer tower and we're gonna have to yak away with the archers over there. Kind of an inefficient way to deal with the brigands, but that's a good choice because uh, well, actually, I actually already had the archer tower there, but you, you see how the archers do so much damage? And it's kind of like I anticipate this already because I know the enemies that are going to go on the left side and the right side. The right side, mainly brigands are going. That's why I have mage towers on that side. In the left side, I have the archer towers because of that shaman, specifically for the shaman. That's why I have the archers over there because they're magic resistant. So. It's, it's a kind of a bad because I have the, the orcs over there that are armored, but the shamans have to do with three shaman, five orc, 16 goblin, one ogre. Folks, what is going on? Oh, there we go. Good job. Let's get all that out the photo. The, okay. 
12 Wolf, 6 Bandit, 8 Brigand. Hmm. Okay. So now they're bringing some speed and some tricky months. Tricky. Yeah, so I gotta get some more towers set up. Yeah, because the wolves, I'm not in position. The ogre, oh, folks, we have to stop the ogre. That just has to happen. But that's okay. We're smart, folks. We're gonna do smart. We're gonna attack the right to the folks. We're gonna mess them up like crazy, folks. We're gonna. That is how it is done. That is what strategy is all about, folks. We have to we have to play intelligent on this. We just have to. And that is how we're going to be able to get the level done, by doing stuff like that. Timing and playing wise, folks. That's just how we have to do it, baby. Hope you're enjoying this, my, um, the viewer. I hope you're enjoying this. If you are my subscriber, thank you. I hope you're enjoying this. Next, last wave, 3 old. 3 Ogre, 15 Orc, 15 Brigand, 3 Ogre. So that's going to be challenging, especially because of the Brigands. This is going good, folks. You see how the archers all work? That fast rate of fire. Oh, there you go. You see that fast rate of fire? That's why it is so good. That's why you never underestimate the power of the archer. I've done those heroic challenges on the elite stages. Now, boy, have I learned a good lesson about this. So I'm about to decimate at the right time, folks. There you go. Shaman, you're no more. We're not putting up with those that healing power of yours. So I, I'm going to have to set up some mage towers to deal with these brigands because, because they're armored. So, But luckily, yeah, luckily we have the archers, a few of them, to hit them, hit them and mess them up. So I'm selling them. You see, we have to be a little clever. We got to sell the towers and we got to hold them. The ogres, I'm not too worried like that about. You see, yeah, that's why. Because we got enough powerful um, um, towers set up, level 2 tier towers. But I got to be smart and keep my eye on them. Because, I mean, they're ogres. 960 hit points. Yeah, he's not, he's not going to get out of the building. I know it looks like he is, but he's not. He's really not. I didn't even have to use a reinforcement on this one that's trying to get away from us. <laughs> that's right. You dropped the stick when you felt that pain. Now, we got to be real. We got to stop this. Excellent job. Excellent. That, that was just excellent. Beautiful job. Folks, this is looking good. This is looking good. This is really looking good. This ogre is going nowhere. He's losing hit points like crazy. He's engaging in battle my reinforcements. He's dropped that stick. Drop the stick. Folks, that this is looking muy bien. There you go. Let's hold him off. Stop that brigand. Oh, you know what, folks? I cannot believe that I have been playing this with level two tier towers the whole time. That the good job. That's the way to get out the photo, folks. That is unbelievable. Where is my head at? Where is my head at? I can't believe I played this the entire time with a level two tier towers. I could have leveled up to level three. Didn't you see that? I just leveled that up to level three. So. I guess you, I guess pretty much you don't need level three or three tier towers. You could do it with level two tier towers, but you just have to be real creative on this one. We had to sell that tower, especially in the end, and set up the mage tower to deal with those brigands. But you know the mage towers cost quite a bit of money. I think because um, we don't, you know, they cost I think a hundred in this case because we don't have the upgrades to to reduce the the, the costs. But that's how it's done, folks. That was the heroic challenge for Twin Rivers um, to the anonymous viewer and perhaps possibly a subscriber. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that put a smile on your face. And it goes to show we can get this job done without barracks on Twin Rivers on the heroic challenge. You better believe it. This is Ricky, a.k.a. the War Champion. Folks, farewell.